before you get into this video, I'm looking a little sweaty right now. I just posted some new things to my Poshmark, some sweaters, a bunch of stuff new with tags, um, some really nice tops. I will link my Poshmark at the top of the description box down below in case you are interested in shopping. Now into the vlog. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I'm going to put this on y'all, see if it makes a difference. Okay, so here's before and there's after. Does it make a difference? The cat is eating the tree. Welcome to day one of my vacation. So I am just going to throw on a little bit of makeup. Brian is home also all week. Uh, today we're going to ride across the bay to drop something off, have lunch, and then I think that's it. Oh, we are all, everyone in my family, in order to come to Christmas Eve at my house, has to have a negative COVID test. Um, because the testing is more available now, it's easier for all of us to do that. So Brian and I are going to do our tests um, late this afternoon. I just think that's the smartest thing to do. It's the best thing for my mom. She b barely just got over a really bad stomach virus, and it really kicked her butt. So... We need to all just be safe. And I think that's the way to be safe. So when I don't wanna do a lot, like a foundation, uh, concealer, all that stuff, I have this Bare Minerals. The color is Linen 10.5. It's a powder foundation. I got it from Tar TJ Maxx. And it works really good. It's like a great light coverage. So I just put this all over and then go on about the rest of my um, routine. I'll do bronzer, blush, and usually I just use my bronzer to put a little bit of color on my eyelids, mascara, and then we are done. I was going to ask you how was your Christmas because you're watching this after Christmas, but we haven't had it yet. <laughs> it's on Friday and today is Wednesday. So I'm going to get ready. I'll show you, see, it's just like a light, very light coverage. I'll show you what my outfit is. And I really want California Dreamin', and I hope that Brian does too. I think that was like the draw to get me to go with him, that he was like, hey, we can go to California Dreamin'. So, there we go. That's it. I guess I'll just keep you playing and speed you up so you can see everything else. So this is that Bella Rose light pink oversized animal print top I have on Rue 21 skinny jeans and a pair of Vans. It feels so good outside. Temperature says it's like 50, but it feels more like 60. We've made it to Carl's across the bay. That's where Brian needed to go. He got a deer last night. So you drop it off here and they make it into whatever you want. Um, and I saw there's a sign on the front that says like snack sticks, like beef sticks. So I asked him to get some of those. I don't really, we know this, it's like an ongoing joke in our house. Deer meat is not my favorite. I don't really care for it. Brian loves it. And so he will eat it nonstop once he has some in the freezer. But like snack sticks make me think of like beef jerky sticks, the real skinny ones. I can do that. But it's such a gorgeous day. It's not necessarily sunny it's a bit of an overcast but the clouds are just so pretty hey 
cut too, please. Okay, I'm gonna do the California Dreamin' salad, please, with no tomatoes. Okay. And do you wanna do the house dressing, the honey mustard, yes. hot bacon? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It is awesome. Next stop is Bass Pro Shop. Pop shops. God's country. <laughs> I get it wrong every time. I always say shop. Shops. Maybe we'll buy a boat today. Well, what do not. you think? <laughs> what about one of these? Sixteen thousand okay. dollars. but it's yeah, but right. it's, it's like a two-seater. I mean, a double. What do well, you call that? We'll figure my four wheeler cost ten. So. That was ten thousand yeah. dollars. Oh no! Look, this is like it's got real doors. I mean, do you want to show it off like Vanna White? Okay. So here. <laughs> That's nice though. It's a car. It's a, a price of a be, car. A would be two times. That. You could buy a car for sixteen thousand dollars. Yeah, you could. That's a car. It might have a motor. Can you take? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you take it off road? Uh, yeah, Ooh. Nice I mean, on the road. You think we should get a buggy? Always. You want a buggy? Yeah. I'll get one. Shopping cart. Excuse me. We call them buggies. Oh, okay. Cash likes these. We'll grab some. Brian's looking at ammo. So I'll take a peek at the dog, doggy stuff. I do want to look at shoes too while we're here because why not? Maybe we'll do these two chicken, peanut butter, and milk. Rawhide free. Kaylee, the girl that does my hair, was telling me about these Yeti dog bowls yesterday for $50. That's the size that Cash would need. 50 bucks. These are 40 a lot of money for a dog bowl. All right, let's see what they got. Feet warmers. I might need some of those. Not really, but I think I bought Brian a pair of these one year. Looks like they have, yeah, a lot of the same stuff that they did last time. These are still cute, though. I don't really need another one. I, know, I have a bunch of them already. Yeah, you don't wear them. You can wear them. I like that one. We are home now. We have just laid out the spread of dishes for Christmas Eve. And now I'm going to make these little cookie boxes. I got a bunch of different kinds of goodies to go in them for my family. We always make a little goodie box or a goodie bag or goodie something for everyone that comes over. So I figured I'd show you how I'm gonna make them. And there we go. Just a little mix, something cute. So I'm gonna make four, yes, five, four more of these. <laughs> All done. I put the rest of the cookies in this cute little tin. These didn't fit in there, but that's okay. How cute, I love these. I need to decorate this little area because we're gonna stack them here. Maybe get a little Christmas tree. We have one, like an extra one in the living room, like tiny. Maybe put it right here. Good morning. Is it too cold for you? Did you go potty? No? Yes? Maybe? It's cold out here. It stormed all night last night. Loud thunderstorms. So, Miss Cash slept in the bed. So I was gonna make, there's not really anything I need to do to prep for tonight. So we're going to have Rotel dip with two different kinds of chips, but spicy pretzels. We're gonna do cheese ball and wheat thins. Over here, we're gonna have the barbecue meatballs. And then here we're gonna have a Christmas punch. It's green like the Grinch, it's super cute. We're gonna have pigs in a blanket, sausage cups, I need to go pick up the Chick-fil-A nuggets that I ordered. And what else? 
my cookie tins, I'm very happy with them. So I think that's it. However, look how cute these straws are. I can't, I can't wait. Um, I did find, not find them, but we had these uh, red and green M&Ms in the pantry. So I'm going to find a pretty bowl to put those in. And I think, I think that's everything. Yes, uh, the only thing that I need to do really is like cook the meat for the Rotel and make the sausage cups and the pigs in a blanket, but that can wait until like, oh my God, I thought that was a person right there. Where are you? Right there. Oh my God. And then probably later um, today, when it gets closer to when everyone's coming over, we'll like do a clean sweep real quick because we cleaned last night. I'm just looking for packages. Um, so we'll sweep real quick, mop the all the floors in the house, straighten up the blankets, that kind of thing. And then that's it. Oh, I forgot to turn this one on. This little light tree. I think that's everything in the house. Okay, Merry Christmas Eve. I'm gonna relax. Brad and I are dressing up tonight. Everybody's dressing up because I had all those dresses, remember, from Chic Soul, and I didn't have anywhere to wear them. So I wore that pretty black one on Thanksgiving, and I'm going to wear the wine-colored sequins one tonight. I think I am going to go ahead and make the pretzels. That way, the spice can sort of just be sitting, so when we go to pour them in the purple bowl, they'll be real spicy. I'll put the recipe down below. It's super simple. It's a recipe from my friend Abby. They used to make it when we would go to the beach with her family. So it's really easy. I don't have any cayenne pepper, which is weird because I thought I did. So we're gonna go in with just a little bit of paprika. All right, I think they're about coated, so I'm just gonna put them back in the bag, like leave them in this bag and sit them in the purple bowl. And that way tonight, or later this afternoon, probably like right before everybody shows up, we'll just empty them into the bowl. Let's just taste one while we're at it. They're super spicy. Oh, they're perfect. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, can I do uh, two large ice blondies, please, with no whipped cream? Yes, ma'am. And can I do one of them with no ice? Someone paid for my coffee this morning. So I went to pay. You heard what I got. I got my regular iced coffee. I got one for Brian with no ice because I didn't want it watered down for whenever he does wake up. Um, and I went to pay, and she said, we have a gift card going this morning, so it's covered. I was like, oh, my gosh. That is so... Why is my voice so hot? That is so nice. Um, yeah, no one's ever done that. Or I've never been in the line or at the place where that's happening. So that was super nice. You gonna go potty? I am dressed, ready to go. This is that wine colored sequins dress from Chic Soul. I just did the normal hair and makeup and I'm just wearing a pair of nude, like strappy heels. I'll show you the spread when everything's done and put out. Um, Brian is making the punch, doing the last minute things in there. I'm letting Cash go potty because she and the cat have to stay in the bedroom because there's food out and ugh, we don't need like pet hair and stuff in the food, that's gross. So they just go up until we finish eating and then they can come out when we like do presents. Oh my gosh, she's yelling at me. Good morning, happy Saturday. I just put laundry in. Obviously I just got in the shower washed my hair. I didn't see you again after Christmas Eve. Yes. So my mom showed up early. That's what Brian was like asking me to get the door. 
We had such a good time on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. The house is a wreck. I'm not even going to show you. It's just, it is a wreck. Um, but Brian did phenomenal, as always, purchasing gifts for me. If you haven't seen on Instagram, I got the Dyson Airwrap. Here she is in all her beauty. I played around with it a little bit last night, but I am going to do my hair for y'all in this vlog. He also got me a couple of box lights. Only one fits here. I don't have space for the other one yet, but this is just, it's good. You'll notice in videos, it'll just be more lit in this room. He also got me this. So it's a mic that clips to your body and then to your phone to give you better audio so that'll be fun to use i got all kind of stuff also that bag hanging there is a brahmin bag which is a very nice like crossbody bag that i've been wanting so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead because i am gonna film a video today i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and then we'll come back and use the dyson to blow dry and curl because I don't know how long it's gonna take, number one, but I also don't know how long the curl will last because I haven't really used it that much. Oh, the shorts. Okay, remember a couple vlogs ago, maybe last, yeah, I think it was a couple ago, um, I showed y'all the Chubby's short swim shorts that I got him. <laughs> he had a good laugh out of them. He did try them on. I like them. You'll probably never see them, but. I thought that he looked good, so maybe I can get like a picture of him. I'm just wetting this sponge. A picture of him like this summer, maybe. Again, the shorts, when he's got a tan so he feels more confident, we'll see. Okay, I'll see you when I have makeup on. <laughs> okay, I have my new box light on. It's the little things that I just love. All right, so I obviously have makeup on now. My hair was in this hair towel you saw. It's still relatively damp. So in order to use the tools, the hair needs to be damp, but not this damp. So we're gonna do the blow dryer first and then we'll curl it. So it comes in this, this is not a review by the way, because I've only used it once. Um, so I may do a review later on, like a full review once I've had time to use it. So this is just, we're gonna use it for the first time. So I'm gonna show you what comes in it. It has a little um, mat to lay your tools on if you so choose to do that. And then inside, this is what it looks like. So you have your base, your blow dryer, two sizes of curling irons, uh, two different blow dry brushes, depending on what style you're going for, and then a volumizing round brush. So we're going to blow dry, and then I think, do I want to do big curls or small curls? It just hooks on, like, it will tell you which way, like you won't be able to put it on backwards. There we go. So it's on. In order to take it off, it's got this little unlock clip. So like it's on there right now, but if you just push this down, you can pop it off. So you have your on button. And then when you want a pop of cool, you push it all the way up and it will give you that bit of cool. This side is how intense you want the air to come out. So soft, medium, hard, or fast, I guess is probably the word. And then on this side is how warm you want the heat. So the Dyson is just air that comes out of it and you can choose like cold as the bottom, uh, warm and then hot at the top. I don't want it too dry because again, I'm going to curl it. This is coming out fast. So we'll turn it down on low. I'm just trying to get a little bit of airflow to break up some of the moisture. I think I wanna try and see if it will curl my hair when it's this damp. And if not, we'll go back in with the blow dryer. Here's the two different sizes of curling wands. So if you're not familiar, which you probably are, there's two sets of each. So it depends on how you want to curl your hair, like away from your face, then you will use, see it's got arrows on it, depending on what side you want to use. 
So again, here's the size difference. Not much. I think it said the small one was one and a half inches and the larger one, one was 1 1.6 inches. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. So I think we're going to do the smaller one. I'm not going to lie. This was like the confusing part for me for some reason, like how to, like which one to put on to show which way I want the hair to curl. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one, but it was just a little bit more difficult for me. I'm gonna put the top part of my hair up just to get it out of the way. Normally I wouldn't section it like this, like with my typical curling iron, but I think that's probably the smart thing with this one. I do have relatively thick hair in my mouth right there. Um, it's not super long, but it is relatively thick. So I think, this is the one that I want. Yes, for this side of my hair to go back. So I am going to take, let's do a back, we'll brush it out. The, the uh, YouTube videos I watched last night, every single person that had dry hair that used it would spray their strand with a water bottle. I do have one in here, but I'm hoping that my hair is not too wet and wet enough at the same time. So I'm gonna take, mm, that might be too much hair, but we're gonna, we're gonna try. So this is what worked for me last night. Watch it not work now that someone's watching me. So I wrapped it around like this, turned it on, and this, see? It like takes a minute to learn how to get it to wrap around your hair. Okay, thank you. I think that's about what we're gonna get. And again, when you curl, you can adjust the airflow and the temperature of the air, if you want it cold, warm, or hot. Okay, so now it's been in there for what? 10 seconds or so. I'm gonna push this up and get that cold, and they say that sets the curl. Okay, and there we go. Is it dry? Yeah, my hair's dry. So there we go. I'm just gonna do the rest of this side and then I'll do the whole bottom and then we'll come back to the top. Look how tight that one did right there. Okay, so for some reason these were done first and they're tighter. So I think I just took like sections that were too big on this side. Like I got a little bit too confident and my hair is like still damp on this side. So we'll do like some smaller pieces on this side. But I did this side and sprayed it with hairspray a couple times. So I think that's, this side looks really good. This one I need to work on. better so I'm gonna take my hairspray and just spray it we'll throw it back and then we'll do the top tops pretty damp that's okay I think I'm learning that I just got a little too overconfident and used like I, I pulled too much hair but that, that's pretty wet still. That's all right. We'll do like tiny little pieces like this. Okay. I think as long as, like 
if your hair's damper than you would like it to be, I think it's okay as long as you hold it on there for longer because obviously the air is going to dry it or help to dry it, you know? So here's what we look like. I just finished this side. I did have to go in and touch up a couple spots because it was still sort of damp. Um, so I think, like I mentioned how many times, I sort of jumped the gun, but now I know that. Okay, so now what I always do after I curl my hair is I go in and just finger comb it. I mean, the volume is there. The body is there. It is a little bit frizzy right there, like in the part but I can spray and get that to stay down. Okay. It's very curly, very curly. Um, but I like that it's curlier versus not uh, because I don't have to go in and touch anything up. Over time it will fall and it will just be really pretty. So I'm gonna spray. Something's beeping in my house. Um, I'm going to spray and then I'm going to wait probably 30 minutes or so to let it fall a little bit and then I'm going to film my video. Brian called me or texted me and said that he's not actually going to the hunting camp tonight. So that's a bust. Um, I did pull out chicken the other night so I guess maybe I'll cook some chicken for dinner. But... I'll show you if I remember. I always say I'll show you and then I forget. I think I just, back to the Dyson, it's going to take some getting used to. Like that piece, I just totally forgot that piece. Um, so yeah, it'll take some getting used to, but that's with anything new that you try. It's going to take some trial and error. But I do know that it's much better for my hair. So I'm excited. Yeah, we'll let it fall. I'll see you when I do something else. <laughs> So I'm, I'm trying to import video from the favorites video that I just shot. It's taking forever. And so I'm doing laundry. We know this at the same time. So I go to put something in a drawer and my nail. Are you ready for this? This is why, this is why I can't have those things. My hair is all over the place too. Clips the drawer. Are you ready? <gasps> I just popped it off. Oh, it hurts so bad no where did it go there it is so i just called the nail salon and luckily they're not too busy and they said i can come in i'm just gonna get them taken off and we're gonna do natural nails <sighs> god come on baby. oh there she is just gonna get a manicure should we get gel nope we're not gonna do nothing we're gonna let them breathe it's way later <laughs> I've been sitting, it's like 7.15, I've been sitting in front of the computer, I went and got the nails taken off, I told y'all about that, came home, sat in front of that computer, and that's where I've been ever since. It's cold, can you see my breath? Cash wanted me to come outside with her, so I did, Brian's still working, I haven't heard from him yet, but it's getting pretty late, so we probably won't do the chicken, just because... If I haven't heard from him yet, you know, he's going to be home pretty late. Um, so we're going to, I'm like shivering, <laughs> spend the day together tomorrow. And then next week, Monday through Saturday, he works with, he calls bell to bell. It's open to close every day because it's the last week of the year. Um, so I need to, or I want to write down and make sure that I have enough stuff to cook dinners every night that way he's got like a good hot meal when he comes home because that's a a long day already and then to work six days straight so i'm freezing 
Can you see her out there? Right there? Oh, there. What are you doing? <gasps> so I probably won't see you tomorrow because I'm going to hang out with him. But um, I will see you Monday. I'm going in, boo-boos. I'll see you Monday. I want to do... I want to do, um, I need to clean up my closets. I just, I have too much stuff. I have so many sweaters that I just, I need to get rid of them. Sweaters, I have dresses. I have just like tons of things. Um, I'll probably end up donating most of it, but I'm sure I will show you that. So I'll see you on Monday. Good morning. Happy Monday. Yep, it is Monday. Cash and I are on a little walk. The weather app on my phone played me. I'm wearing this big jacket. Uh, my sister-in-law gave it to me for Christmas. Um, my weather app told me it was like 50 degrees outside, but it's kind of warm, but I'm like too far from home now to change <laughs> um, because I've got all kinds of stuff in my pockets. I have my AirPod case and then I have baggies in case cash goes potty. I guess that's not a lot. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do this morning, we're going to do a little walk, and then I figured we would do a little bit of a workout. I went yesterday and got weights and a kettlebell and a medicine ball because I was sort of motivated after my New Year's Eve Q&A, just talking about that I sort of missed lifting weights and stuff. So I went and purchased what I could. I think that's the smart option versus joining a gym right now. Um, I don't know if I trust other people to not show up places when they don't feel well. <laughs> um, so we're going to do it at home today. So yesterday I went through and watched some of my old workout vlogs and wrote down split workouts that I could do with the weights or that I could do um, like if I didn't have the machine for something, what I could do instead. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to do probably 30 minutes walking just to warm up and then I'll show you my workout. I'm going to do it in my backyard. And this is what she does. Go, go, go. I need to turn that music off so that y'all can watch. This. Wait. Go get your ball. Go get your ball. It's right there. Go get it. Good morning, y'all. I don't know what happened last night. I do know I was so hungry that I didn't even realize I hadn't vlogged cooking dinner until I was cleaning the kitchen like late last night. We had chicken on the stove, like you put it in the skillet, get a little bit crispy and then bake it in the oven. And then I made baked potatoes and that was it. So today is Tuesday, happy Tuesday, by the way. Um, Cash and I are gonna do our uh, little walk this morning that we usually do. Uh, Bella Rose just texted and said they don't need me tomorrow. Uh, so I've been working on, I wanna do this week's Style Saturday on uh, recreating TikTok or Instagram reel outfits that I've seen that I really like. So I've been working on saving some of those and pulling outfits and stuff. So I'm excited to film that. We won't do it today because it's gonna take a lot to film. So yesterday I made bacon in the air fryer and it turned out so good. So I think I wanna do that again this morning. Typically I would go for a walk first, but I woke up so hungry. I think we just ate lunch, ate lunch, ate dinner pretty early last night. And then I got sucked into like Instagram and TikToks and stuff. Like usually I'll have a snack. 
and I didn't have a snack. Um, so we're gonna do breakfast and then we'll go walk a little bit later. For some reason, we have the super thick bacon. Um, so I did cook it a little bit, I'm trying to do it one-handed, a little bit longer yesterday because I wanted to make sure that it was done. Uh, 20 minutes was too long. So let's do it like 10, five and five on each side. I'm also going to make a piece of toast. You're super crooked right now. I apologize. The butter is holding you up. There we go. Um, and that's it, that's breakfast. I will say this, what I have noticed about the bacon in the air fryer is that it doesn't get as greasy as if we, you, you were to cook it on the stove. So like typically, you know how you put a napkin down to put your bacon or whatever on top of it to get some of the moisture grease and stuff off. I find that I don't need to do that, but I do it anyways, I guess it's habit. It's about two o'clock. So I have been so productive since I saw you last. I did my walk with Cash like we normally do. She made it not very long today. It was probably like 25, 30 minutes tops. And we were actually like halfway down the street and she just turned around and was like, mm -mm, we're done. So we came back home. I just walked around the pool and like talked on the phone with my mom for 20 minutes or so to wrap up. Came in, took a shower, and I have organized everything I need to film recreating TikTok slash Instagram Reels outfits for tomorrow, which you'll see on Saturday. I also placed a Target order. So a couple of vlogs ago, I went in store at Target and they had a bunch of new plus size stuff. Granted, the whole section itself is not very big. So I asked if y'all wanted to see a video and you said yes. So I ordered a bunch of the stuff that I saw in store that I liked and then a few extra things online. So we have done that. I also scratched the S-H-I-T. <laughs> out of my eyelid. I was just sitting outside with Cash and went to like scratch my eye and just jammed my fingernail into it. So it's a little bit sore. What else did I want to tell y'all? I've just been re-watching True Blood. Sort of it's in the background. I ate Chipotle for lunch. Do you ever feel like Chipotle always sounds like such a good idea and you're like, yes, I want the bowl with the rice and the chicken and the corn salsa. But then when you get it, it's not... It's not that it's gross or bad. It's just not as good as you wanted it to be. I feel like that every time. Last time I ate Chipotle, I went in store, like in their restaurant, picked it up and brought it home. And I got home, like sat on the couch, started my show on Netflix and went to eat it and the rice wasn't cooked all the way. And I was like, really? That would be my luck. So I think what I'm gonna do, because I feel like this vlog is pretty long already and I'm in the like working computer mode today, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, edit you so that you can watch this on Thursday. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. I know it's quite a bit longer than last week. <laughs> I did that on purpose because last week was what, like 12 minutes or something. Um, and then I will see you in my next one. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I really hope that you liked it. Uh, let me know down below. I'll just keep looking at my hair. I should have washed it this morning and I didn't <laughs> because here's my thought. Side note, like off on a tangent, tomorrow morning I'm working lower body. Like I'm going to do my workout in the morning and then I need to shower afterwards anyways. So I'll shower, wash my hair, shave, get ready, film videos, and then tomorrow night, I'll put on a fake tan since I'm freshly shaved and exfoliated, and then I can film. I have some really fun uh, swimsuits and stuff that came in from Cupshe for a video you'll see next month, um, so I feel like I need a good tan on my body to film that, right? Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.